some commissioners, even though it was their right to vote in the past, elected not to even vote. Even though their political persuasion was really never known, and if they had voted, it would have been so difficult to even predict who they were voting for in order to show the level of being fair to all, Dr. Kujwa Farijam, for example, stayed away from voting in all elections that he is pretending over. Today, we are not only appointing persons that people will question either their qualification, their understanding, but we are also appointing party apparatchikis, which is wrong. I thought the president would have learned some lessons after bringing in the, uh, the Dr. Bosmers and the rest. But that's not the case. As a party and as a member of parliament and as a citizen of this country, we are all going to watch this closely and monitor the actions and inactions of some of these officers that have been uh, uh, just uh, sworn in. Whatever appropriate actions that we will take, we will take it in order that our democracy is not destroyed beyond what has happened. That the, the sanctity of our votes shall be respected. And that no individual will do anything to undermine that process. And so if it is the plan that they break the eight, break the eight that they are talking about, this is part of the scheme of things to pack the electoral commission, which will be independent of party apparatchikis. Then they should revise their notes. Yes.